I'm Paul Huizinga, this is Tom Lieb, and it seems like just, you know, maybe over a month ago, we were in a very similar situation at SEMA talking about Ford crankshafts, and I feel kind of bad. I feel like we left out the Bowtie fans, so why don't we talk about all the Chevy crankshafts that you guys have got on display here? Okay, that's a good idea, and it's good to see you, Paul. Basically, what we have, you know, the LS engine has uh, become more and more popular, especially for the muscle car guys and the street rotters and so forth. So what we've had to do, the LS engine, of course, was performance, you know, upper end. And what we've done is we've come up with some cranks and, and rods and things that will take that junkyard engine and build it into a, you know, a hot dog engine that you can put in your Chevelle or your Tri-5 car or, or maybe in your street roadster. And so some of the things that we're exhibiting is a new four inch crank that uh, the LS engine, the, the innards of the engine are very compact and the issue with extending the stroke is balancing. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we redesigned the forging and, uh, and in doing that we don't have to use the heavy metal that we used to use which brings the cost of the crank really down because heavy metal is, you know, to balance it is an expensive gig. And of course on this table then we move from there. The other thing that we've done, uh, the big block Chevys, of course in the boats is a very popular, I mean that's the, the engine of choice. Mm -hmm. And the problem with the big blocks is, is that the engine design has the thrust in the rear. And of course your Fords and your Chryslers and the rest of them, the thrust is in the center. And what that does is it cuts down, it cuts actually in half the twist in the crank at RPM. Well, you get a, a Chevy engine, the thrust is in the back on a big block as well as an early small block. What happens is the crank wraps up the full length. And of course, what ends up happening is the number four main, you know, is gonna have an issue. So the way that you get around that is on the big block cranks, we put center counterweights. We made a new forging die to put center counterweights on it to prevent the flex and to make the, the torsional, you know, as half as we can get it. So instead of having, you know, 24 inches of wrap up, now we got 12 inches. So that's something new and it's, it's uh, you know, exciting and especially the boat guys. We have a lot of guys here that, you know, that are in Florida and the Caribbean and whatever. They build these offshore boats and they got a couple engines in there and you know, they they put it full bore from here to wherever the hell they're going. You know? uh, big block Chevys are making a comeback in cars as well. Absolutely. Well, you know, when you look at, at hot rods, uh, and of course, you know, I'm a hot rod type guy, and there's there's only a couple engines that really look right in a street roaster or coupe or something, and that's a flathead or a Chrysler. Well, the next best bet is a big block Chevy. It's got those big valve covers that kind of, you know, puts that muscle out there, you know, it shows off the, the uh, power potential. So yeah, you're right, they're, they're well, there. Well, let's not forget about the earlier generations of the small block Chevy architecture. You've got those really well covered as well. Well, SCAT, you know, we make cast cranks, we make forged cranks, we make billet cranks, and of course, the crate motor, the most popular crank that we've ever made is the 383 cast crank. And what we did, uh, and there's one of those on the end here, and what we did is we, use basically the designs of the more uh, popular, expensive cranks, putting the, in the casting, we put the knife edge and the radius counterweights and things. And of course, they've all got the straight shot oil system, they've got the lightning holes. And so that particular crank is really probably the choice of the customers when it comes to that. And then of course, we move up into the forgings. Well, it's a great value for money because you're getting those high-end features in something that's pretty budget friendly. Absolutely. and and. Uh, you know, when you look at a an engine, a 383 engine that you can buy from a crate builder for, you know, the three to four thousand range, you got really value. I mean, it's gives you the horsepower you need to get down the road, put your pedal in it, you know, and off you go. Now, where can people go to find out more information, not just about Ford, not just about Chevy, but about everything that you offer? Well, we have. If you go on the net, www.scat.com, we'll give you uh, the basic website, and then you can tick down onto the cranks and the, the seats and the rotating assemblies and things. Or if you're just interested in cranks, you can get just at the cranks by www.scatcrankshafts.com or the seat, the Procar seat pro, you know, program, you can go www.procar.com. Or just call us, we're happy to talk to you. 
Well, it's been a lot of fun catching up with you. I appreciate all the information. Speaking about fun, we got a whole bunch more fun stuff right here from PRI, so keep it tuned.